Say it, Tony. <laughs> say it. Say it. Temecula, California. Temecula, California. That's where he'll be. Uh, on September 16th, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Charlie Hill. Thank you. Uh, this is the Indian version of that song. This land is my land. This land ain't your land. Get the hell off of my land. Go find your own land. So you got the, thank you. So you got the joke, the irony. Last crowd, this guy stared at me. You know, like that wooden white man in my front yard? Anyway, it's great to be on television. I'm actually shocked, because it ain't even near Thanksgiving. And, uh, <laughs> or Earth Day, that's another time they call me. Uh, I grew up in Oneida, Wisconsin, and you know, I can make a good living there going uh, B27, <laughs> I19, you know. But the casinos, everything is really turned around. Remember a long time ago when the white man used to get the Indian drunk and take his money? <laughs> my wife is a Navajo. She's from Arizona. And I'll never forget when I met my father-in-law. It was like a real hot afternoon. And he's standing by the road drinking a can of Spam. And uh, <laughs> he says to me, uh, Charlie, you want to marry my daughter, right? I said, yes, sir. Can you support a family? Yeah, good. There are nine of us. You know. <laughs> so we got married the old Indian way. You know, I had to give him four horses and a blender. <laughs> and, and then he, in return, gave me the guest house. Actually, it's a 62 Oldsmobile. And <laughs> then he got me a job as a tour guide. You know, I used to take white people out into the desert, and then I'd leave them there. You know, <laughs> you know. You know a lot of these tourists are old-time hippies. You know, they wear more Indian regalia than Wayne Newton. And, uh, <laughs> but that's cool, you know, because I went to school with some of these types, you know, I did. I went to college five and a half years. And I became a sophomore. Uh, <laughs> greatest. You know how bad I did in college? I was probably the only Indian brother ever to flunk archery. I'll tell you, that's really <laughs> embarrassing. Uh, can't go home after that one, you know. <laughs> then I, I studied drama. I did. I had an idea. I, I wanted to be an actor. I studied theater, voice, Shakespeare, all that training. So one day I can go to Hollywood auditions and go, huh, me wait by horses, white man. <laughs> when I was in college, you know, we were about stopping the war, you know, which isn't such a bad idea now. You know, not, now that we're in Iraq, you know, our 51st state. And, uh, <laughs> I think about the people that live there, not, not the bad guys, but just the regular civilians, you know? Losing their homes, their land, their resources. Man, they're gonna have to build casinos. <laughs> I think, I really think we still can have world peace if there are only more Indian or, or more women leaders in the world. Doesn't matter who you are. More women leaders around the world. Because mm. throughout world history, women have never, ever started a war. For example, if my wife was the president and she was pissed off at another country, she wouldn't bomb it. She would just ignore it for six months. <laughs> Gentlemen, we'll be right back with OK Go. 
How you feeling? 